My name is Maurice Green, uh, better known as Crochet Boss, UFC Heavyweight, number 15. What's up? Um, so I chose uh, inaction. Uh, when we fail to take action, we forfeit the future. And just like inaction uh, is an action, like indecision is a decision. Um, first, I'm going to get to the definition of, obviously, inaction. Lack of action where some is expected or appropriate. Um, the reason why I chose this is because it kind of, well, I had a topic prep before this, but then I changed it. But this is something that kind of speaks to me for where I came from being obese at 330 pounds to UFC ranked heavyweight. You know, and it's been a long journey and it's been a lot of actions that I've had to physically take mentally, on the personal side, in the gym, switching gym. So we're going to just kind of get into that. Um, the first thing I kind of want to get into is how I break down, like, the actions, right? Um, first is like your self-assessment, right? So uh, I was very inactive, let's say, in every aspect of my life, right? I did all the bad things. I was eating terribly. I didn't have the right discipline in my life. And um, I had a buddy of mine, I was about 330 pounds. I had a buddy of mine um, say, Maurice, don't wanna fight, right? He goes, you gotta go to a gym. Never trained a day in my life. Didn't know how to box, didn't know how to kickbox, I wanted to do nothing. Walk him to the gym, 30 days later, I hopped in the cage. That kind of started this whole process. This wasn't a dream of mine, right? In order for me to get where I was, I had to take action in every aspect of my life, right? At the time, I had a son on the way. I, don't, I didn't plan on going back to school. So what was I gonna do, right? This had to work. So the actions that, that I decided to put forth, you know, it's giving me that result. I'm still a work in progress, right? We're always getting better. But in order to do that, we have to self-assess and we have to put down a game plan and take action. So the first thing I did is I have a vision board. So at home I have a big, stupid piece of paper that I have all the goals that I want to meet. Kind of like Coach says, you know, checking things off of this. But then more importantly than having those goals and seeing those goals is taking the proper action to achieve those goals. So in a separate book, I'll write down how do we get to that goal, right? How are we gonna achieve the goal? How, what actions are we gonna take to make it to, from point A to point B, right? I got a couple of quotes that I found that kind of make sense in my head. An idea coupled with, uh, an, I, uh, an idea not uh, coupled with action will never get any bigger than the cell uh, the cell you use to, you know, think about or occupy it. And that's from uh, Arnold Glasgow. Um, we all do it. We all say we're going to do something. We have a clear plan how we're going to do it, and we don't do it, right? Uh, we got to start saying, let's not do that and take action, right? Meaning, say, how are we going to get from point A to point B? Another one, um, people may doubt you, doubt what you say, but they can, uh, people may doubt what you say, but they will believe what you do, right? Mm -hmm. So I walked in the gym my first day. You know, I'm sitting there boxing, it looked like garbage. We all had those first day jitters, right? You're going to the gym, you look like shit. Um, I was telling everybody, I'm gonna be a UFC heavyweight one day, right? These guys laughed at me. Like, I think about it now, because I am where I wanted to be, kind of on, on the road. Um, but these guys laughed at me, right? So what did I do? You know, I was still 270 pounds at the time, you know? I took that as motivation, like, you know what, fuck you guys. I'm not gonna be in the UFC? All right, bet. There was only one other person that was riding with me that believed in me. When I lived in Chicago, I went through so many coaches, right? I went through so many coaches, it was ridiculous. So it was really important that I took action for my own training. So I'd run two miles to the lake. I'd shadow box on the lake. I'd watch things on YouTube. I'd watch other people spar. And then I would come in here and I would do it. And if it didn't work, I'd throw it out. And if it worked, I'd put it in. But my goal was to be, and still is, to be the most well-rounded mixed martial artist in the heavyweight division, right? I don't want to be like anybody else. The only way we can do that is by taking action. And I'm gonna leave you guys with this. I was on social media and I saw, I don't know if it was Chris Paul or who it was, right? Um, I saw a, a video and he said, I walked in the gym, they're getting ready to play the Lakers. He says, I walked in the gym, he goes to go, you know, warm up. He said, Kobe Bryant was shooting. He goes, so I do my workout, I'm working hard. You know, Kobe's working hard. And when I leave, I look over and Kobe was still there, right? So 
Kobe was there when he showed up, Kobe was there when he left. He said after the game, he walked up to Kobe Bryant and he said, you know, why did you work out so, you know, so long? He, and Kobe Bryant kind of looked at him and said, um, I just wanted you to know that no matter what you do, no matter how hard you work, right, I'm always going to outwork you. And that comes from the decision and the action he made to be the best when he started self-assessing and assessing his skill set and breaking down where do I get better, where are my opportunities, and he was being realistic about how to be, be the best in the world, right? That practice when nobody's looking is, is, is the actions that we got to take. This is great that we're in the gym, but when nobody's looking, that's when you really get a lot of the good work in. So, peace. Yeah.